I'm Megan Anderson and I'm the Executive Director at the Furniture Bank of Metro Atlanta. And our mission is to recycle used furniture from individual households and hotels and companies and give it to people that are either moving out of homelessness, living with HIV and AIDS, or fleeing domestic violence. We serve over 3,000 people a year with only six full-time staff members. This is only possible because people here are definitely willing to go the extra mile. They don't care if something's in their job description or if it's outside their comfort zone. They're willing to do it if it means that a client's going to get the furniture they need to live safely and securely in their homes. We have a lot of fun with each other and everyone just really cares about the job that we're doing here. Everybody recognizes that they're making a difference in people's lives. For our clients, the fact that they can come and pick out everything that they need for their house to make sure that they have a good place to sleep, um, that they have a dining table to sit at and share with their family and friends. I mean, it's just a huge, most people don't get to start out with all of those things, and every little bit helps. The fact that these people are able to get those items um, at virtually no cost to them uh, is amazing. Today we're delivering furniture to Felicia Booker, who is a former resident of the Atlanta Children's Shelter. She's been in the shelter for about a month. Um, she was able to establish housing, and we are helping her with her furniture. Hi, it's Jeremy with the Furniture Bank. Hi. We are here to deliver your furniture. Okay. Um, I got your form right here with a list of the items. So if you wouldn't mind just kind of looking over these as we come in so we don't miss anything. Wow. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> it really helped us out. I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. But from the look of things, I'm very pleased nothing like being in your own place and having a place to call home. And if it wasn't for the furniture bank, I don't know how I mean, my family would be able to get a fresh start like this. To me, the furniture bank brings the entire community together. It's a good organization with a good cause and I know what it's like to be in a situation where you need help as well, so it's cool to give back. It's expensive to operate trucks to pick up donations and to operate a warehouse where we store donations and give it to clients. But we also know there are many, many more clients that need our help. Um, and any additional funds we receive, we're able then to run additional trucks, pick up more donations, which then means that we can serve more clients and provide more furniture. Please keep giving. I left a facility where there were 12 families and a number of children and all that we try to do when we're there is to work and to make a difference and to get back to stability. I just can't tell you the amount of relief that it's going to be to get a good night's sleep. Cherish the Future and its sponsors um, account for over 12 percent of our annual budget every year. Um, it makes a big difference because of the amount of money. It also is unrestricted funds that we can use to help clients um, and really the more funding that we get directly impacts the number of clients we can serve. 